All right, let's go crude oil. So let's take a look at this setup. We all know, I'm going to do a quick video on this technique. I'll show you how this thing uh, works here. We all know that uh, what we try to do is look at the trend chart to find buy setups. So we're trying to find buy setups. That's what we're trying to do. The market has been in an uptrend since last night. So it's been an uptrend almost nine hours straight. And how do we know it's in an uptrend on crude oil? And this works on all markets. Get this off here, this cursor. We know it's in an uptrend because the smaller MA right here crossed over above the intermediate MA. That gave total trend direction when it's above the larger MA. So we're at total trend direction. Been up all morning. The smaller MA still holds above the larger MA. This is a squeeze play. When it comes down and touches it and we get a green candle, that means we get a squeeze for a big push in the market up. So now we're looking for a buy, buy pullback right now. But let me show you a technique. We know that we are looking for a buy setup right here at this green candle. It closes green, pause the market delta. Why? Because we want our trend chart to get below. Once it gets below 20%, we're going to start watching a buy setup with trend. This is a chart we're going to concentrate on for our setups. Once it does that, we know that we have a possible buy setup. So once we get down below 20%, we know if it comes down and touches the 90% or gets below, I'm sorry, 10%, gets below 10%, which it did, we're looking for a buy setup. This is a 9 sim Rinko. This is our trend chart, larger Rinko bars, bars, right? So this is our trend chart. That's what we use to find trend. We're trying to buy pullbacks for trend up, trying to sell pullbacks with trend down. So that's our trend chart. So a hot spot in the market was here this morning, and it also caught wrongly positioned traders here. We had two, two buy points this morning. Let me show you a technique how we can do this. Is this is a three sim, a real small, smaller time frame? Just a few seconds away. A four sim rink. Uh, this is, I'm sorry, a four sim rinko. So here's a four sim rinko. What we want to do on the three or four sim rinko? What we want to do is we can see the high and low of this candle. I've marked down on top of the three sim rinko. That's the high of the bar. This is the low of the bar. So that box right there that I just marked up is actually this large candle over here. We'll mark that green. I'm showing you what it looks like on a smaller time frame, the price action. So this right there, when it closed green, we got below our 10%, looking for a buy setup, negative market delta, negative, negative, negative. Finally got a positive market delta on trend up. We want to buy. And if we look at after this bar turns green, once this bar turns green, close green, we know we got positive market delta. The trend chart says buy. We can check down to a smaller time frame. We can check down to a smaller time frame. This is a four sim Rinko. You can use a three or a five. Every, you can use any one you want. If you want more trades, use a three. Less trades, use a five. I wouldn't go higher than a five, though. But what you're looking at is you're looking at a... This candle is this candle over here. There's a low, there's a high. What I want you to do, and here's a close, is I want you to try to time it when this, let's say we come back down here, we're trading live right now. And this comes back down and we get a red candle. Red, 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 red. Then it closes a green candle. Once it closes a green candle, check down to your small time frames. Wait for the first pullback and the second pullback. This will weigh three and away five. All right, these are two buy points in the market right here. You want to buy the first, and it has to go below 10%. Of the basketball you can buy uh, the first uh, retracement below 10%. Uh, anyway, thank you. Right there. Uh, and the second now. retracement below 10% here and, uh, for a wave three and wave five uh, Elliott right wave. Now. An NBA game, preseason game between the Nets. You can try to catch him right when this trend chart closes back to the upside. In other words, the next one we're going to look for is we want to see a red candle come in. Red, 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 red. Then a green candle forms for a continuation to the upside. 
I want we want to see this going. oscillator right the here gonna be there, on the trend chart right? get down below 20 eventually down oh, below 10 percent really touching the 10 percent line i'm looking right now to find oh, you, you really? as yeah. soon as it closes the green candle we'll look for the small time really frame easy. and i want to look for I the first or second retracement the first time anyone these are the two best retracements you're going to get into because you're catching set up for the algorithms for this you're catching never cared before andrew you are catching right here this swing low um and this it's swing low very clear and using a smaller time frame your stops can be I mean, significantly reduced meaning keep it if you trade point. off a small time frame like the four sim um, down here your stops are going to be a right around a hundred bucks one seven on per one contract headline and two four on hundred eleven uh, hundred hundred ten dollars per one contract on, on a fill when it comes down when they if you trade off a large time frame and you just strictly trade off this big time frame over here and say hey i just want to buy this bar right here i want to buy this bar this green bar well that's all fine and dandy because you can do that but your stops are going to be double it's a larger time frame right it's a nine sim versus a four sim your stops go from around 11 tick average to 22 tick on the on average kind of so now you're risking 220 dollars now it was great 52.40 and we're all the way up to 53 so you made 600 dollars potential on the move up per one contract but you also risk risk 222 220 dollars versus 600 it's still a three to one reward to risk on this last trade setup but a lot of trades don't go this far so what you can do is you can lower your risk by by letting the larger time frame set you up. You know, go with the MA trend, look for a pullback below 10%. Let it change in the direction of your trend. Let the market delta. I have a trend filter built into this trend trend chart. These are just not open, high, low, closed candles. These are different. So when it closes green, you know you got more demand than supply or more buyers than sellers. So right when you get that, instead of opening up at the next bar and trading off a large time frame, you can check down to a smaller time frame. This is this big green bar right here. You can see the low was 19 and the high was 40 and some change. It's around a 20, 22 tick stop after all is said and is done if you just trade off this chart. Vice versa, if I trade off this chart and I enter at this bar, my stop is reduced to $100, $110 per trade. And I still get the same move. Or if I trade off this exact bar, because I'm taking the first wave three or wave five, I'm significantly reduced. Right? Now, that's one way to trade after it closes a green bar, after you have a trend up and you close below 10% on the large time frame check down the small time frame the small time frame and I really had to reiterate this it has to be below 10% it has to be above 90% if you're not below 10% you should not be trading off the small time frame if you're not above 90% you should not trade off the time frame I'm trying to get an exhaustion a rubber band snapback trade with overall trend chart direction so if you trade off the small time frame all trades must be above 90 all trades must be below 10% and that's a hard rule that I have in the room period. I've done all the back testing on it, on the software, and that is your most highest probability trade to get when your larger larger time frame sets it up and you get below 20, I mean down below 10, above 90, and your small time frame gets above 90, 10 also to crank you up in the direction of the trend. So you can see either trade worked out great this morning. We're talking around a $600 move here, and then right here we're working on uh, what? Well, that's a $700 move and then a $600 move right now that we're working on right now on the move up. All right, so the, these are the great setups you want to look for. Now, the next setup you can do is called a momentum trade. A momentum trade is when this happens. We're already in a trend up, right? And this is when you can only do this. There's two ways to do this on this trend chart. You can, you can get below 10% with trend up. Wait for the bar to turn green and then check down to small time frame. Wait for the full retracement below 10%. Pop in the trade when positive market delta right here and here. It nailed both the lows on our last setups. All right. The other way you can do it is called a momentum. So this is called a retracement setup. This bar here is called a retracement setup. You On a retracement setup, you have to be below or come down and touch that 
between that 10 to 20 percent. That's retracement setup. This setup is called a Momo setup, a momentum setup. Now, what a Momo setup is versus retracement, that's only two setups you need to learn in this room. A Momo setup is different than a retracement setup because what it does, the momentum is already moving in the direction of trend. So there's your Momo. What happens is if you get below above all three moving averages and below all three, and you see a opposite color bar go against trend. This red bar is opposite color against trend. If that happens and you and you have to do this, you have to be above 90%. You have to be above 90% now. This has to be above 90%. If I see a red bar going against trend and the next bar is green, that's positive market delta, you have a momentum buy right there. That's a momentum buy, but I have to be above 90%. That's called a momentum setup. So like I said, there's two ways to do this. We can do a re This works on all markets. Go back and look at hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of trades. There, it's remarkable how these two setups can call the moves that you need to get in any type of market. All future stocks works on Forex. doesn't matter. Either I'm below 10% with trend and I look for a positive market delta and trade off a smaller time frame, or I'm actually above 90%, trends up, so now I'm above 90%, it closes the opposite color candle, catching the wrongly positioned counter trend traders. So what I want to do then, if I see that close, let's take a look at this bar. If I see it close green, you know you got positive market delta coming in, so we got the high of 65, we got the low of 43, and it closes at 57. And that's at 7.11.40 this morning. 7.11.40. So if I go over to my small time frame and I look, and I look at the highs and lows and I put them on there, so I look at 65.43. Sixty-five, forty-three. So here was the low. Here was your low right here. Here's that candle. Here's that candle that brought you down. Make sure seven eleven closes left seven eleven. So right there. So this is the candle that formed. There's your green candle that formed right here. What I want you to do then, instead of like, what I want you to do is I want you to look for the first and second retracement on the trend, a wave three and wave five. Right there it is. So what I want to do, I want to make sure I'm looking for right there, there's your buy setup. First retracement should be your best to pop in after the trend chart confirmed a positive market delta. Right there. Your second wave five, it just happened a second ago. Right there, it's got to get below 10% though. Right there. So this is a four sim rank I'm showing you and a nine sim trend. That's a Momo setup. This is a Momo setup. Dang it. Momo setup, and this is called a retracement setup. The difference, remember, and let me make things real clear to you so you guys understand this. The difference is a retracement setup is above 90% on sales, below. 10% on buys on the trend chart. A momentum setup is opposite. It's actually above 90% in an uptrend and below 10% in a downtrend for hard sell up buys or shorts. See the difference? So let me make this clear to you. What we're doing is 
is we're trading, we're letting a large time frame set us up. This is our trend chart. We're letting this set us up, and we're trading a small time frame to pop us in the trade. So if you'd use this, if you would use this technique since what 5:30 this morning, you are now four for four. You have not lost on one trade using this technique this morning. If your stop on this small time frame has been two ticks below the swing low, this last trade worked out also. That's working right now. Why? Because I'm using a larger time frame to get in a momentum setup and a retracement setup. Like I said, the difference is, and let me point this out, on a Momo, it's got to be above 90% and staying above it when you close a positive market delta, Momo. On a retracement, it has to be below or touching 10% what you did here then what you can do is check down to a small time frame and pop in the trade so these are your two biceps there's a retracement set up this morning it got my trend is up so look before I shut this off for Gerald let me reiterate how we do this you want trend up first if you're taking buys you want trend down if you're taking sales the best thing to do is I like that small MA because it tells me if I'm, if I'm above the larger MA with the small MA, I'm in a net uptrend. If I'm below it, I'm in a net downtrend. It really calls the turning points. If I'm above all three or below all three, then I'm looking for momentum setups. Because if I'm above all three, I want the candle to turn green. Like right now, we're looking for a momentum setup right now because we haven't had any. We're not down below 10%. We don't have any red candles, so we're looking for another momentum setup. We want it to turn red candle. So in other words, if it turned red, red, uh, red I'm sorry, looking for a retracement setup. If it turned red candle and come all the way down below 10%, then we'd be good to go. On momentum setups, you want to keep above that 90%. All right, but we can check down to a small time frame. Are we clear on that, guys? Everybody understand that? Hemi wife, you understand that technique? Are, are we are any questions on that? Hit me a why. Are, are we good? Give me a why for yes. Are we clear on that? That you can use a smaller time frame to fire yourself in a large time frame setup. It's the best way to do it. It's the best way to do it. What happens, and I'm going to tell you why this is the best way. On your trend chart, if we come into a chop day, you don't want large stops at 22 ticks. Now, I do have traders that only trade off this 9 Simrinko. They only trade off this chart right here. And they only sell. Sell here. Here's a sell setup yesterday. Sell here. It works great. Sell there. And sell here. Right? And you nail this high. But you better do it in only what type of market. If you just trade off this time frame, large time frame, what type of market should you trade off of? Only one type of market if you trade those trades. You can only do trend. If you try to trade off this 9 sim by itself, you're going to get beat up. But if those MAs are all crossed down and you are burning down, and it happens about three days a week where you get a chart like this, this is a great time frame if you're going to trade by itself. No, I start watching for the setup when it gets below 20%, but Steve, it should come down and touch at 90%. It, it's got to at least come down and touch the 90 or touch the 10. You just need to start watching it when it gets above 80 and below 20, so you're heads up. You got heads up. But this is this will set it up for you guys and gals. It happens every day. It doesn't matter. I can look at any chart. Any market, I don't care if you trade NASDAQ, S&P, trade copper, you trade gold, I don't care what you trade. You trade the euro, you trade British pound, Aussie, you trade the cross pairs, even works on stocks, it does not matter. This, These two setups are all you need to know, retracement and momentum. Retracement and momentum. If I'm trading a momentum trade, you'd like to see it above all three MAs or below all three. Have an opposite color candle come in. Then when it closes the positive candle, start looking for a buy setup on your small time frame. 
You want to see it above. Those, these are the strongest moves. If it's a retracement trade, you want to get below that 10%. Start watching when it gets below 20 for a heads up. Gets below 10. Wait for positive market delta. And then what you want to do is check down to a smaller time frame and try to get into these setups. Because remember, just, just look at this. These two bars, these two candles that I colored up on the four Simrinko, that's these, that's a high and low of these bars right here. That's the same what I just marked up for you. To put things in perspective. I don't think traders understand the correlation here. And I thought today this would really resonate to you guys how this thing works. Those two skinny bars are the same as my four sim over here. Exactly the same, high and low. See that? So I want to buy here and buy here. So if I buy it by myself, you get around a 22 average stop. If I buy over here in the small time frame and wait for the first next retracement, you're good to go. Now, let me show you. Is this a qualified Momo setup coming up right now? I'm, I'm down below 10%. Yes or no? Would you look to take a setup on this next retracement? Yes or no? On a momentum setup? Right now. You would not. Why, Bill? Because the hard pushes will have what on the trend chart? The hard push is going to be where? It's going to be above 90%. What Bill's talking about, look over here. Are we above 90%? No, we're down to 43%. I'm below here on my small time frame, but my big time frame's got to set it up on a Momo trade. I'm below it. So what do you do? Avoid. What type of setup is it trying to set up right now then, Bill? It's setting up what other setup? If I get a red bar that closes here, then what type of setup am I setting up for next? If it's not a momentum setup, everybody, what is it? It's a retracement setup. So I'll get a deeper retracement. I'll get down below 10%. These candles turn red, 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 red. And then what do I check down to? I check down to my smaller time frame over here. All right? And like I said, it doesn't matter what time frame I use. Let's go to a five. So what is that? 7.33 and 6.33. Let's go to five. Your buys are still here. Here's your buy. Here's your buy, right where the arrow fired off on my, this is actually a sweet spot Fibonacci fired exactly at the low, which gave you really good confluence. So you see on the five, it's the same way. There's your five Simrinko. Give you nice buy setups right there. Okay, Gerald, shut that off, buddy.